Ashley, you are chasing a story. You can almost pinpoint Governor Christie's unraveling in one moment on election night. What do you got? Well, Bill, it's the first time we've heard of this. Governor Chris Christie may have made the ultimate mistake, a very peculiar one, which cost him a job in the White House. According to excerpts from a new book, Devil's Bargain, by Bloomberg Businessweek reporter Joshua Green, Christie made a huge no-no on election night by bragging to Donald Trump, not our president at the time, speaking with President Obama on the phone, and then here's where the plot thickened. Christie offered his cell phone to Trump to speak with Obama. Well, that didn't seem to fly with our president, who is a germaphobe, and this is said to have set the president off. According to the book, Trump told Christie, quote, hey Chris, you know my effing phone number, just give it to the president. I don't want your effing phone. Now joining us is America's psychologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier. And Dr. Jeff, my question for you is, you know, what makes someone a, a real germaphobe as the president claims to be? The thing about uh, uh, germaphobes is that many of them do have something called hypochondriasis. It is an anxiety disorder. And we're not really quite sure of why the anxiety goes in that direction, but perhaps at some point in their lives earlier on, they may have had some sort of a trauma having to do with the fear of contracting illness or contracting germs or bacteria. Here's how I read this, that he wasn't actually on the phone with the president at the time, that the president, at that moment, the president-elect, dealing with the magnitude of what was happening before his eyes in the war room, sat down to be isolated and think it through, and everybody gave him his distance, except for Governor Christie, who at that minute decided it was about him, and went over to the president-elect and said, the president, at the time, Obama, is gonna call my cell phone and I'll give you the phone. I heard President Trump's reaction to that, and I said, I would have said even worse to Christie if he had done that. It was clear to me that this was a power play. So to me, I'm more interested in the psychology of this power play, this jockeying for position with who was becoming the most powerful elected man in the world. Well, the president has talked about uh, that he's had some real issues of, around germs and hypochondriasis and getting illness from certain encounters. So that's something that is, you know, in some part of his mind. But I also do agree with you that maybe this is not being about germs or being a germaphobe, but maybe more about narcissism, uh, such as how dare you hand me your telephone. President Obama is going to call my telephone and I'll hand it to you. Well, have him call my telephone directly. You know, maybe this isn't really that psychological at all. You know, I know I'm just trying to put balance to this because you don't like, you know, Governor Chris Christie quite that much. I don't. But, you know, I'm saying maybe you don't know what his intentions were at the time. He actually may have been trying to help the president elect during that moment by speaking with the president who's saying, no, hey, you won no, the election. No, what do you think, no. Alex? I am shocked at Christie, a master of the game of political power, would step so wrong-footedly at one of the most important moments in his life, inserting himself as a gatekeeper between the president-elect and the president of the United States, so foolish a move as to get him kicked out of the king's court. Let's take out germaphobe, let's take out narcissism, and let's put in ego. And was this a battle of the ego? I can't believe I'm gonna have to defend Governor Christie on this, but you know, I don't want to sugarcoat this, but his goose was cooked long before this whole cell phone germ scenario happened. That's your defense? He Poor put, Christy. <laughs> Sorry, Governor. <laughs> yeah, listen, Tried to find he, you somebody. He put Jared Kushner's dad in jail. You don't forget that. You don't forget the guy who put your father in jail. Governor Christie was doomed. They used him. They used all his connections as governor. They used him all through the nomination, everything after. And once they got what they wanted, they cut him out. All right, Dr. Jeff, it is always good to see you. We'll talk soon. Always a pleasure to be with you guys. All right, thanks.